to use the scheduler, uh, you'll need to come into the scheduler uh, menu here up top. Just click on scheduler. And then if you're going to do automated email reports, you first need to configure the email settings. So click on the email setting button and then choose your authentication type and then fill out the information, the from address to address. Um, if you're using basic, basic authentication, you'll need to put in the SMTP server port number and your password. And then once you get the settings configured, hit save and then send a test, test email. Uh, once the email settings are configured, you can close that and then move on to adding a task. And you can see I've got one added, added already and you can add multiple um, schedule tasks here. So just click on add and then select your task type. So if, you, if you're gonna do an, uh, an email report, select reports, and then you'll get a sub menu to select um, which report to run. Um, there's the bulk up data tool and then the health monitor. Um, so I'll do reports and if there's additional tools that you want added to the scheduler, please email me at um, support at activedirectorypro.com and we'll see if we can get that added. So for this example, I'll uh, create a task for a, an email report. And then just name your task. Uh, click on set to set your credentials. Click OK. These are the credentials that will be running the scheduled task. Uh, once the, that's configured, click Next. And then select your schedule. You can run it daily, weekly, or monthly. I'll do a daily task. Um, I'll have it run in the next schedule time. I'll have it run at 7 a.m. So this task will run at 7 a.m. Um, every day and then click next and then select since I selected reports um, I'm going to get a category on which um, category to report on right now I've just got users but like I said if you want to see other reports that aren't included just send us an email so then I will select which user report I want and I'm going to select bad password attempts in last one day and then you can choose to report on the entire domain or an OU or a group. And then you can have the option of sending an email report or having that report saved out to a disk. I'm gonna choose email report and then just enter your subject. And click finish. And you can see it's going to add that task here. Shows you the start time. You can enable or disable the task. And then when it runs, it will it'll um, put in the, the status of the last last time it ran, and it'll give you uh, an update of when it runs, when the next time it'll run. So that's it. Pretty straightforward. You can you can edit them. Just select it and edit if you would need to edit it make any changes to it you can delete it and that's pretty much it again if there's something missing that you would like to see added to the scheduler like an automated email report or a different tool please send us an email that's it for this video thanks